being a new parent and looking for the best school for your kid after just kind of doing my bit of research and comparing the both comparing the pros and cons of the curriculum here is one school that is just focusing on one board Hi, welcome to Yellow Slate, your very own school search engine that helps you find the best schools for your kid based on various filters and parameters. Today, we are Ms. Sonal, whose kid is studying in the Santa Maria International School, which is in Sierra Lingampalli in Hyderabad. Let's speak to her and understand what she thinks about the school and her honest opinion about it. Thank you so much for joining us, ma'am. Thank you so much for having me. To begin with, what made you to choose Santa Maria and how long has your kid been studying there? My son is in Santa Maria from PP1. So of course I'll I'll just kind of you know throw a light to uh, you know beginning like you know being a new parent and looking for the best school for your kid so what drawn us to Santa Maria is basically a strong reputation for academic and sports excellence and then we heard about a diverse student body here and the supportive community So after meeting the coordinators so uh, you know the uh, the admission coordinator we kind of uh, it it gave us the confident and it uh, stood out to the various other schools that we visited during that time and kind of you know gave us this assurity that okay this is the school what we were kind of looking at to achieve the personal as well as the academic and overall personality development go- goals for our kids got it and during that phase when you are actually looking for a school did curriculum play any part were you very keen about either cbsc or ib or uh, anything of that sort yeah of course like you know we wanted to go to a school where they're just focusing on one board so i come from a cbsc you know background and we kind of when we were looking for schools here there are many schools who that are kind of focusing on two to three background now after just kind of doing my bit of research and comparing the boards so we were like you know okay so, uh, i like cambridge is the one we want and then another thing is we want a school where they're just solely focusing on one board and santa maria there they don't have any other board unlike other schools where they have ib cbsc icsc and all, you know igsc and all that they just had cambridge so that kind of that okay after just deciding the board that you know we want igsc the cambridge board for our kid now the second you know filtration was that we want a school that is just solely focusing on cambridge so yeah that way is you know that made short listing more uh, as in to the point and we kind of were satisfied that okay after just you know comparing the pros and cons of the curriculum here is one school that is just focusing on one board and they will have just you know particular set of like teaching met- methodology just kind of abiding by the board uh, you know what what we kind of expect since you brought in teaching methodology as one of your criteria so how is the teaching quality at santa maria what do you think of uh, teachers in specific okay so now i'll tell you my son is there i think for last 10 years now in santa maria and he's doing very well in academics as well as sports and what i have realized in case of santa maria that they make sure that the kids are kind of attaining the highest potential like you know in academics they're achieving to their highest potential and how they're making it possible just by kind of you know having a support system and teachers that are highly passionate and they're quite engaging and a very con- conducive uh, uh, learning you know environment and because of all these reasons what i have seen that in case of my child like i'm a business woman and not able to give that much of time but without any external help or tuition or anything he is independent right from 7th grade so that kind of you know uh, tells you volume about the curriculum and the teaching pattern of teaching method of santa maria that's commendable at least from such an early age where now you have kind of access to all these you know multiple tutors and all that and again they come back home and you know study from different teachers and all that but the everything is so like you know uh, the uh, the concepts are being cleared in the school and the kids are quite independent from an early age so that that is something commendable and as a parent i have experienced it in my child's case got it and 
can you tell us the fee structure of the school for now 8th grade if i'm not because you have to pay the fees in three installments it is total would be somewhere around 6 to 6.5 got it and does it include transportation food yes yeah food and speaking about the management generally how accessible is the management in case if you have any questions or concerns is it easy to reach out to them absolutely in fact one concern mail goes out to the school coordinator or the mid- middle school coordinator the response time i would say 1 to 2 hours and promptness to act on it is very smooth and they are quite you know hands on and they make sure that whatever the queries or the concern you have shared with the school it is addressed on time they don't prolong it so yeah the response time is they are quite good at it got it and you spoke a lot of nice things about the school but if you have to be really critical and tell us the area where the school can still get better at what are those areas see the thing is right now it's so far the experience has been good now he is gonna now eight onwards nine onwards to be very candid now he is gonna appear for competitive exams and all that there probably uh, since i have his learning has been good so far the base is good you know they are just kind of uh, you know the knowledge about the subjects and everything is good i think so far improvement i cannot highlight anything that uh, per se the school has to work on but yeah once the competitive exams he starts appearing for how the support system is how you know do they have any kind of special uh, classes to prepare the kids for all this those kind of stuff will really help it i'm sure see the thing is my my son is still in 8th grade so i'm sure they have it for higher classes in place this kind of system but yeah a solid support system to appear for different kind of competitive exams you know based on the child's interest would be a very very uh, i would say you know positive thing for the school to focus on generally a, a perception that a lot of young parents have is cambridge has a lot of syllabus to cover and it is vast and it is only meant for some bright minds who have great learning abilities is that really the case because i want to hear from a parents perspective here uh, is it required for a student to get to come back home spend long hours to just understand the concepts and uh, have to go through a lot of pressure before the examination is that really the case so far no so my son his grades are great and he's sailing through the entire the course the learning new concepts and all very smoothly and i would give it to the school for just yeah even i heard it in the beginning they said that oh maths english you know it's tough and tougher than cbse and all so far we haven't bore any brunt of it it is like there there are homeworks they they finish lot of stuff in the school also come back and you know there'll be like couple of homework in in couple of subjects so uh, that is like even a one or uh, two uh, two hours of study is like they they are able to finish it and then pursue their other interest in extra curricular activities so there's ample time you know at the students disposal to kind of do or uh, carry out the other hobbies also but you know having said that yeah i guess one to one and a half hour of study after school they generally kind of my son spends on finishing his homework which is in a way good at least you are in the you know you're practicing those concepts every day and that is one of the reason before exam like how i have seen in you know my case like before board exam or cbse you are just a day and night studying i am seeing this generation to be very very you know casual about exams and taking it in a good stride which was not the you know same thing with our generation that's very nice to uh, a lot of parents are very keen about this fine balance between co curricular activities and academics in fact i can go out and tell a lot of parents are more keen or they don't mind 
students more being inclined towards sports than studies also so at santa maria how is this balance between the co curricular activities see uh, that is what we like from day one like this i'm talking about 10 years ago you know when we went and met the school uh, administration they said that oh they strike a ba- good balance between sports and academics and they actually kind of you know stood to what they said till date i am seeing that you know kids are if they on day to day basis also they have classes for sport which is which is quite usual i think it is common between all the schools but then they have competitions and you know during those sports week or something they just kind of uh, maintain a very good balance like okay you are doing to three uh, you know i mean there will be two three lectures and then rest of the time they will just let kids participate in different kind of so yeah the the balance they are maintaining between the two fields it's it's quite commendable and and this is a very honest opinion like you know the sports are encouraged and they have tied uh, with one of the best academies around from bombay so i think they are doing a good job here just maintaining a balance between sports and academics that's very nice to know and before we wind up ma'am on scale of 10 if you have to rate the school or maybe how likely are you to recommend school to any of your kith and kin on scale of 10 what would be your it i i think i see the real test will begin now from 8th grade onwards where i you know what my son is interested in and if he gets a proper support and all that we will like kind of you know know exactly where the school stands but so far the support that he got for anything like you know whether a transition from pre teenage to teenage and the you know the teachers being around addressing his questions and growing up the your emotional upheavals and the changes and all that i think um, it has been incredible so on a scale of 10 i would give santa maria 9 one because there's still it's always in you know you cannot be perfect so there's always you know one mark is there is a scope of improvement and uh, so this is my honest rating so far you know of the last 10 years fantastic thank you so much for coming forward and sharing all these opinions with us it will certainly be of great help for other parents who are looking for good schools uh, in and around serlingampalli or gachipoli thank you once again for your time ma'am thank you so much for having me thank you